So the next thing we're going to do is get a reference to this game object here, which we're calling game settings. I'm just going to copy the name. And we'll also want to get a reference to this script that belongs to this object. So let's go back into Mono Development. And we're going to put it right here after they push the button before we change the scene. So game object. And we're going to call this GS just for game settings is equal to game object dot find we'll just paste in the name of the game settings and now let's get a reference to that script so the script was type game settings I'm just gonna call this GS script and that's gonna be equal to GS dot get component of the type class game settings now once we have a reference to that script we're going to want to call its save method so that's GS script dot and then it was save character data okay it's not showing up in the drop down so let's take a look at it ah we did not make it public and we should also make the load public as well save that off let's go back to our character generator script and there we go save character data now if we go back into Unity, we'll see we have no errors. We'll start it up. We'll hit Create. And since I'm using an editor version, if we look back at the documentation for player press, we'll notice that on the Mac it's stored in Library Preferences. So I'm going to open that folder up. And there we go. Here are all the Unity saved games that I have for various projects that I've been working on. Now you can go ahead and delete these at any time, but just keep in mind that you will lose the data that they hold. So the project we're working on right now is called Targeting. So if we double click that to open it up, the first item in the list is our key player name. You'll notice that it's a type string and that it's empty. Now let's just close that. I'm going to keep this window open because we'll be going back to check out our P list in a bit. Now the reason why it was empty is because when we started up and we hit create, we left the field empty. So let's actually add something in here. Now we'll hit create again. We'll stop it. We'll go back to our list. Now mine was called targeting. I'm going to open it back up. And we'll notice here that it now saves the name. So great, we have it saving the string. Let's go ahead and start saving the rest of the data in there. Actually, before we start saving the rest of the data in there, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all the rest of these plists. I don't really need them because most of them are projects I've just been working on. I'm going to leave the folder open. I'm going to go back into Mono Development. Now there is another way to rewrite this. We could put it into one line. So instead of getting a game object and storing the reference of the game object and then getting a reference to the script that's attached to that game object, we could have just simply went like this. I'm just going to hit enter there to make an empty space for me. And I'm going to say game object dot find. We want the exact same name because we're looking for the same item. Then we can hit dot get component. And then the type of component, which is game settings. And we'll just comment that. Oh, we won't need that anymore. So let's just delete it. 
let's also delete this. And that should work as well. If you notice, there's no error. And let's enter something different here. Let's, let's try Bob. I'll hit Create. We'll go back to our directory listing. We should only have one now. It's right here. We'll open it up, and there's Bob. Great. Now let's iterate through our attributes and save those next. Let's go ahead and grab some code we've already typed out that iterates through our attributes. So for instance, right here, that's the vitals. And up here is our attributes. So instead of retyping our for loop, we'll just copy it. We'll put it in right after the name. I'll just check it for correctness. That seems fine. I'm just going to copy this player pref statement. Actually, now let's just retype it. So it's player prefs dot set int. Since these are integers. Now we'll want to set a name. And the name we're going to use will be the name of the actual attribute. So we can actually just cut and paste that code as well since, we, since we've already done it. And it's right here. Go back, paste that in. And then for the value, we've already found the value out before right here. So we can just use this as well. Except we don't want adjusted base value. We want the base value. So we'll just copy this line. Paste it right in. Now the reference tune doesn't exist in this script. We're using PC class instead. And we don't want adjusted base value. We just want base value. And that looks good, just like that. So let's go see if there's any errors. We do have one. Okay, the naming num doesn't exist. That's fine. There's two ways we can go around this. We can add system in front of it. And if we tab back out, it'll disappear. But since I'm going to be using enum quite a bit in this class, I'm just going to come up here and add it using the using statement. So there's no errors. Let's run it. This time I'll use the name Joe. We'll hit create. Now we'll go take a look to see what's saved. So Unity, Bergzerg, Targeting. Open it up. And here we go. Charisma, Concentration, Constitution, Might, Nimbleness, our player name, and Speed, and Willpower. It would appear this sorts them alphabetically, but that won't really make a difference. Now our attributes have a few other values that we might want to save, so I'm just going to take a look at them. I'm going to start with base stat. Uh, buff value, we haven't got into buffs yet. Uh, we'll probably want to save the buffs, but for now we don't need to add it. Uh, my level modifiers, if you notice for my attributes, I've got them all the same. So all my attributes will always have the same like starting, ex well, we should save that, experience to level. But all my level modifiers are the same for all my attributes, so I don't really need to save that. If you have different level modifiers for different attributes, you'll want to save that one as well. And you can do that just by calling its, its getter for the level modifier. Yes, we do have one. Okay. But experience to level is something you should, should save now. So I'm going to come over here under game settings 
and I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to append on to the name of it. I'm going to append a string on to the end of this and I'm going to call it exp to level and then instead of base value I'm going to call the exp to level. So let's save that. We'll test it out. Open up the file. And there we go. I guess we should put something in between the word or the name of the attribute and the exp to level. But yeah, it should be 50 because that's what mine start out as. Let me just go quickly check just to make sure. My attributes, yes, they start off at 50 experience. So I am going to change the exp to level. I'm just going to put a hyphen in there. And I'm also going to change uh, the attribute name instead of just putting you know strength. I'm going to call it strength. And then append a string to that as well and say base value. Let me look at my base stats again. Uh, experience level, level modifier. Like I said, if you've got different level modifiers for your attributes, you'll want to save that. And I think that's pretty much it for the attributes that I need to save. So I'll run it one more time just to make sure. Now I'm probably going to have all of the older attribute names in there so I'll probably have to delete it and start over again but let's just open it up and take a look yeah see I still have the old charisma values but now we have base value and experience to level and the old experience to level so let's just delete it redo it I'll call him Tom create Open it up. Yep. It's still saving this. Okay, I'll go ahead and take a look. Let's see what the name saved as. Name and hmm, a player name, Tom. All right, so I've restarted Unity and it was still doing the same thing. I've added this line in, in here to delete all and ran it once. So we'll go in, we'll run it. Uh, this time we'll do George. I'll increase his charisma to 52. Hit create, stop it, go back into Finder. Open it up and we'll notice now it's okay. The name George, Christmas 52. Uh, then I went back in and just commented this out and it works fine so it appears it caches them somewhere that I'm unaware of basically you're just gonna to have to delete them and recreate all the new ones again so every time you make an edit to your save file it appears that you're gonna to have to delete the old ones and freshly recreate the file so let's just go test it out uh, let's do Tommy 51 Charisma, Create, Stop, Load Up Finder, I said Finder, uh, I'll go into the P-List, and there we go. Only the values we want. In the next section of this little mini tutorial, we'll go ahead and do the vitals and our skills.